Hi guys, this is Emily again. Welcome back to my channel. For today's plan with me, we are going to be using some stickers from this pastels mega pack from the Happy Planner, specifically the under the sea stickers and also some distress inks to create an under the sea scene. So let's get started. But first, let's hit that subscribe button before we forget and give me a thumbs up to support my channel. I truly appreciate it. As you can see, I am placing some washi tape that I will be using as masking tape around my weekly calendar in my spread. And this is not for decorative purposes, so I am using my least favorite and my least used washi tape in my collection. And if you watched my squad goals spread from last month where I also used some distress inks to decorate in the background, you will be familiarized already with this technique and with the supplies that I am using today like this stencil and again the distress inks and the blending brushes which are linked in my Amazon favorites. But if you missed that video, don't worry, I will link it at the end of this plan with me so that you can go at the end and check it out. But I am basically just adding the distress ink in antique linen using mostly circular motions and you keep adding ink until you build up to the intensity of the color that you want. I used to use this technique a lot in my card making channel, but lately I have been really enjoying using it in my planner as well, especially for these summery spreads. I don't know why, but these distress inks give me a very summery vibe, so I certainly couldn't pass the occasion to use them again. But of course, you can use them any time of the year. The Distress Ink come in a huge range of colors, so you can get your favorite colors in these inks and use them all year round. And of course, you can use them with any stencils to create some mixed media looking spreads without having to add a lot of layers of paper or layers of actual mixed media. But if you prefer, yes, you can also add layers of paper and washi tape on top of them and that will create some really beautiful spreads as well. You can also cut down a piece of paper to the size of this weekly calendar and then decorate in that piece of paper separately and stick it down to your spread with a bit of washi tape on the top to create a flap and that way you wouldn't need to write on top of your decorative scene or you can use these techniques to create some dashboards or dividers for your planner. And now I am using tumbled glass, one of my favorite blue distress inks or just one of my favorite distress inks in general. Anyhow, you might notice that I am struggling to get in the ink in my paper and that is because I am running out of it after many years, over five or six years of having that distress ink. It's finally running out. Maybe it just dried out, but in any case, I am not getting the color that I need in my spread and I wanted to use tumbled glass because it is a pretty light blue and I will be later on sticking on top of it some clear stickers. So I wanted a light background, but I didn't have any option but to go with another blue. In this case, I considered both Mermaid Lagoon and Peacock Feathers, but I ended up going with Peacock Feathers, which is another beautiful greenish blue. And these are the blending tools and blending sponges that I used to use before getting my blending brushes. But now that I found these brushes, I am in love with them and I prefer them over the blending sponges. And in here the idea was to go with a first layer of blue all over the spread and then to use the stencil to create some waves looking lines in my spread. And there is no specific way of doing this. I just moved the stencil to different places in the page just to get some wavy lines until I covered the entire page. And then I of course did the other page. As you can see, even with this fresh ink pad, my color is not very even. But I actually like that because it gives a lot of texture to the water and to the scene and the spread. And I gotta say, I liked this page, how it turned out better than the other one for whatever reason. 
maybe because it didn't end up having so many lines or because it was smaller so it was just like a smaller detail but in both cases I am fairly happy with the result it takes a bit of time and a bit of work but again a lot of fun to play with a spread like this one Once I finish inking the water, I will start adding the stickers that I showed at the beginning from the Happy Planner Mega Pack in Pastels. And I wanted to use this shell with the pearl inside, but the pearl is something I really wanted to be really crisp, really white. I didn't want the blue showing through it. So I went ahead and I used my Posca paint marker, which is in my Amazon favorites as well. And I painted over it from the back of the sticker and I just waited for the paint to dry before sticking down the sticker on the page. As you can see almost all of the stickers have a cool toned color, a blue based color like the purple, the greens and of course the blues. So the blue from the background is not really gonna change that color, it is just gonna make it a little more bluish. Now those stickers with a bit more of pink are gonna change the most. They're gonna turn a little more purpley with the blue on the background, which is why I placed the crab pretty much completely on the sand because the neutral color is not gonna change that pink as much. And I did want it a little bit of true pink in my spread. If you want to see my after the pen spread from my squad goals spread that I mentioned before, you can go and check it out on my Instagram account. And there you can see how I wrote on top of that spread. I literally only used my pen for filling in that spread. I didn't use any icon stickers because I didn't want to disrupt my scene, which is what I will probably do with this spread once I get to fill it in. Only that in this spread, unlike that one, I ended up using some sticker labels that you will see in a bit. And the labels is certainly something that you can add to a spread like this one to have some specific spots to write in. But you can also trace some lines with your checklist stencils and whatnot. I personally would use a blue marker or a blue pen to make the lines a little more subtle. But of course you can go with your regular black pen for the lines as well. Once I finished with the scene, I went ahead and added some bubbles because I love how bubbles fill in some spaces and add more detail to a spread like this one. And after that, I very slowly and carefully pulled up all of the masking tape or washi tape that I used around the calendar in my spread. And I ripped a little bit of the page on the bottom of the first page there, but it is barely noticeable and you will see that I will be fixing it with some matte liquid adhesive, also from Ranger, which is the same brand as the Distress Inks. And you can find it as the multi-medium matte on Amazon. I will have it on my Amazon favorites as well. 
and I love it because it is matte so it is not glossy it will be almost invisible and also matte means that it is not sticky so once it dries if I spread the adhesive over the bottom of my spread in there it will not stick to the other page once the glue is dry because it doesn't dry sticky or anything like that as you can see then I went ahead and I added some labels and I went with the circular ones because I thought they would almost look like bubbles or just like big pearls so they would match the rest of the spread and all of the stickers that I used for this spread are from that pastels mega pack from the happy planner and the washi tape on the edges of the holes is also from the happy planner in case you were wondering for this spread I chose to fill in the sidebar with some motivational quotes. Since I didn't have any quote throughout in the spread anyway I thought it was just perfect like that and I wanted to add some more pink because this spread had a lot of blue so I felt like I needed some lighter pinks to break up the blues. Then I added some of these stickers that look like watercolor swatches to use as labels as well. And with those, my spread was all finished. I love how it turned out and I truly hope you like it as well. Please give me a thumbs up if you are still around. Thank you so much. And until next time, take care and stay safe. Bye.